Hi, welcome and good day. My name is Nicole Spirit. I've got my special guest in the house, Puppy Finn, Puka Dog, and we're here today to bring you a class for Mercury Retrograde. If you've heard of Mercury Retrograde, then you know what I'm talking about. Basically, it's when the planet Mercury is really far from Earth, and it apparently makes our communication go all haywire. It usually affects things like computers, cars, appointments, sometimes they get delayed or messed up, the times get weird. Um, it happens three times a year and it happens for about three weeks. So we just began a Mercury retrograde and my communication planet is Mercury. So um, being a Gemini, I get a lot of help when Mercury is closer to Earth. Things flow and they're more mercurial. And when the planet is further away, it's said to cause some delays. It's said to basically make us, you know, go into a place where we need to cultivate more patience and find our connection with breath. And the hardest part of this video is just starting it and showing up. So thank you so much for joining. Today we're gonna start a class seated in our most comfortable cross-legged position. This is a pose called Easy Pose, and I wanna give you some tools that you can use to help ground you, get you rooted, and feel like you can manage, especially when there's waves around. So we're gonna start with a comfortable position, and you're just gonna take your hands and let them arrive comfortably on your knees. We're gonna start with just a couple of neck circles just to release the neck and the shoulders. So you can keep your hands on your knees, bring your chin down to your chest, and very gently just roll the head to the right. Don't roll back, just go across, and then go over to the left, and then come down the center. So at the back, I don't want you to go into full expression. Just make a nice full circle, but just avoid opening up the back of the neck too, too much. We're gonna do one more circle in this direction, and then gently pause, the chin is back at the chest, and we'll go the other way. So take care to sink your shoulders down when you're going around back, just a gentle, kind appreciation of your neck. And this is gonna help us open up our throat chakra, which is known as the communication center of our body. It's associated with the color blue, last circle, nice and slow, and it helps us to speak our truth find our true voice, and then gently you're gonna lift your head and come back up to center. See how you feel here. We're gonna do a couple of gentle lateral and side bends just to open up the sides of the body. And I wore my beautiful white shirt, and it's reminding me to keep my muffin top nice and tucked in. So keep your spine nice and tall. Keep that breath nice and smooth and long, and then take your right hand and bring it to the floor. Big inhale breath, and on your exhale, reach your left arm up and over, and just give yourself a little pulse into the side right body. Pulse into the liver side and help to release anger, and instead create patience and vitality. Come back to center, let's switch the arms. Left arm down, right arm reaches up and over, and we pulse into the spleen and the stomach. And we help to release any nervous energy or any worry energy, any tension, and we replace with good recreation, just like you're doing right now. Coming into a space where you're just doing some yoga, finding your connection with your body, breath, and mind. Good, reach up, both arms are out at the sides. We're gonna bring our hands together at the heart, and we're just going to set a little intention for our class. Notice how you're feeling right now. Notice what's been going on in life and see if you can come back to this space where you really connect with your own precious heart and all of the wisdom and the joy that comes from there. Now we're gonna actually take our left hand over our heart, our right hand on top. How lovely, there's a little rainbow enhancing it with some beautiful white rainbow light. And I want you to create a soft wind. Just breathe into your heart. And I want you to imagine that there's so much love and support, even from family that you don't know. Maybe from your past, maybe animal friends, and maybe even star family beings that 
you haven't quite remembered. In any case, taking this moment to imagine that the force of love and God and whatever you consider that spark of energy behind it all that connects us all, bring that into your heart for a moment. Breathe, feel safe in your heart, know that you are greatly loved, dear butterfly. And I keep saying that we're going through this caterpillar transformation and that's what's happening right now. So release your hands gently, be very, very mindful and joyful that your butterfly is going to form. So for Mercury Retrograde, I really wanted to give us some tools to stay grounded and rooted. One of the things I really like to do is a spinal circle. So you leave your hands on your knees and you just start spiraling from the left knee to the right. And then you exhale as you go around back. See if you can make this nice big circle and churn and open your spinal energy. See if there's any blocks anywhere that you've got stuck and take deep breaths. Remember that your free health care is taking deeper breaths, staying peaceful or controlling yourself. And that's about it. That's about all we can do. The rest is happening all around us. We're changing our environment by manifesting our own dreams, but we have to know what we want first. So really think about what you want what your desires are, if you don't like something in life, how you're gonna change it, your job, your relationship, where you live. Come back to center. And then we're going to go the other way. Finn, come and lie down. Now, we go from the right knee to the left and exhale around back. And again, I just want you to make space right now. We're opening up into this world of joy and what we are feeling like is our birthright of love and being loved, being lovable. And we release and let go of impatience, anything that's unkind, worry. Anxiety is a symptom that you are shifting. You're getting higher and vibrating in a more pleasant way and there's something in your life that doesn't fit anymore. So that's what I'm talking about, releasing these things that the ego sometimes clings to. Last circle around. Good. And we're going to pause and we're going to just gently take a deep breath. We're going to think about our communication center today. Glow some blue light into your throat. Maybe even pet your throat very gently and lightly. This soothes your nervous system. Hmm, and it helps to just smooth the feathers of your bird. Imagine a bird that the feathers have gone in the wrong direction. We just want to smooth everything down. Maybe you could do that. Smooth down your arms, smooth down your legs a little bit. And this is a technique we use in therapeutic touch, just to smooth away, smooth the feathers down. Good. And then we're going to ride back with our hands on our knees. Let's take a moment to stand up. So come onto your feet to start. We'll stay in Malasana, which is our squatting pose for a couple moments. And see if you can even bring your heels down. So maybe you pivot from side to side. Good. See how you're feeling right now. And then I want you to do an energy shift. So what we're gonna do is bring the back side of the body up, coming into a forward fold, bring your feet a little closer together, parallel perhaps. Let your belly land on your thighs, bend your knees generously, and just let your head hang down between your hand, uh, your head hang, hanging between your hands. Good. And then if you feel like it, we can do a spinal twist here. You keep your right hand grounded at the chest, right underneath your chest, and bring the left arm up and over. Good. Wiggle your fingers, see how this feels. Maybe you keep your head down, maybe you smile. And on your next exhale, release your left arm down. Then we're going to bring our right arm up and over. Wiggle your fingers. Straighten your right leg maybe a little bit. Breathe and soften everything. Left arm, pardon me, right arm floats down. Head is below the heart. And just let your head get bathed with endorphins and blood. Feel good energy. And then you're going to slowly bring your body up to standing. Let everything stack on the bones below it. 
and then you're gonna arrive in a standing position. <sighs> Wherever you are, just let that blood drain from your whole body, from your head, down through your torso, down through your legs, and root and ground into the earth. Good, and then we're gonna do something called flamingo pose. So find your Tadasana, your standing mountain pose. Be grounded and rooted here for a moment and use your imagination to be like a tree. So I want you to imagine whatever tree you would be today. Let's imagine, I'm gonna be an apple tree. And then I want you to take that visual of whatever your tree is, you've become a tree, and imagine your roots underneath you in the earth. And as big as your tree is above the ground, your roots are just as big below the ground. One more breath here, rooting in Tadasana. Maybe you've raised up your toes, Maybe you've lowered them down. Maybe you've done up that zipper of the conception vessel in Chinese medicine. It's like a zipper that we do up in the front of the body and we can even lock at the lip just to really make sure our energy is safe and protected. Good, and now we're gonna try flamingo pose. So this is something that's a variation of standing and it's really simple. If you don't like it, hang out in Tadasana and meditate. See if we can get used to open eye standing meditation. In the Qigong world, Tai Chi, they do a standing meditation for up to 45 minutes, say. My cousin tells me about doing this 45 minute meditation, holding the arms out to the sides and the feet. <laughs> like this. So now we're here, we're gonna do it for just one minute. I want you to gently imagine that tree still, whatever tree you are, let the sun shine on you. Your belly is engaged, you're done up from the middle, and you're really feeling like you're safe in this beautiful space. Let's take two more breaths. The sun is shining on your leaves, and actually every single part of you is getting recharged by the heavenly chi that's above and around you. Your earth chi is coming from the roots, from under the ground, and you feel like a magnetic connection and pull towards the earth. Very good. Slowly drop your arms down. See if you can maybe do that for five minutes. It's a fun challenge, and you really get to play with sinking your energy down. So now we're gonna do that flamingo pose I talked about. I'm turning to the side, turning back, so you can see what I'm doing. You're gonna take your right foot, and bring it up behind you and hold your foot. That might be enough for you. Your second variation is to lift your left arm. That's it today. It's a prep pose for dancer, but today we're just gonna try our flamingo. Give yourself a nice stretch in that quad. And if you need to, you can have your hand balancing on a chair, on a wall in front of you, or simply just leave your hand at your heart. Last breath, breathe, visualize a beautiful flamingo, what a strange and amazing bird, and then ever so gently we'll release our arm and our leg. Let's just feel the body, feel that resilience for a moment, and let's do the other side. So I want to mention, your right leg is standing leg, nice and strong, root it down, start to pick up your left foot, and then gently take hold of your foot in your hand. See if you can pull that foot towards your bum, push your knee down towards the earth. And again, you could be balancing on the wall, a chair, or some piece of furniture, or something that's close by. If it's available, keep your gaze on something not moving, raise up your right arm, and simply feel into this beautiful pose for a moment, your flamingo. And breathe. So your free health care, taking deeper breaths, drinking more water or staying well hydrated. Last breath here. And the last thing for free healthcare is maintaining your positivity, controlling yourself, your peacefulness from the inside out. Good, wherever you are, release the arm and the leg, bring yourself back down to standing. We're gonna do a forward fold with wide legs now. Bring your feet as wide apart as you are comfortable. And a couple variations you can do, you can bend your knees a little bit, or not. And what we're gonna do is take a big breath and on an exhale, we're gonna lean forwards, bring our hands underneath us. Make sure I'm not giving you too much of a booby shot there. <laughs> and I want you to get your head below 
below your heart. If it's available, maybe your hands even are underneath your shoulders. And again, play with that variation of the knees being a little bit bent. And this is a great place to be. Just let your head be bathed with feel-good endorphins. If you feel like going a little further, right hand plants in front of you and left arm reaches up and over into a wide leg standing twist and you breathe. Good job. Next breath, lower down on the exhale and then on your next breath, inhale right arm up and exhale into your twist. Again, if this is too much, just stay in a forward fold and breathe. Ah, oh, it should feel really good. Whole, opening up your shoulders and your neck and also giving your brain some feel good energy. Good, so we're gonna hang here for one last breath. You can walk your feet a little closer together, really hang, let your knees bend wherever it feels good. Pet the puppy, if you don't have one, I'll pet the puppy for you. He's finally calmed down. I have to give him a little kiss because he's so cute. And then we're gonna stand up and roll up to standing. Well, he did bark earlier. Ah, and then we made it up to standing. Excellent. So this is a pretty simple class. I just wanted to give you some tools and some vitamin O oxygen to get into the body and to feel a little bit better. Let's bring our feet almost close, close as touching. And we're going to do my favorite Qigong move, shake your tree. So shaking the tree, it's a big metaphor for the day. Think about a tree and how it has its tree trunk. That's your body. How it has these beautiful leaves and these branches and they're dancing in the wind. So if that feels nice, maybe you pick up your arms or your branches and let them dance too. And then the other part of the tree is the rooted and the grounded part, the roots underneath. And that's your internal world. That's your shadow. That's what's happening when we're in the caterpillar phase. So smile if you can, because when you shake, and you smile, you can only feel happy. It's really hard to be impatient or angry when you're doing this. It's kind of silly and I love it. One more breath here, shaking your tree. I'm still an apple tree and here's a good reminder that whenever the apple falls off the tree, that we hear the sound om, the sound of the energy that connects us all, God energy, whatever you want to call it, the source, the spark, and we know that when the apple's fallen off the tree, that the essence of the apple goes back into the tree and the tree doesn't die. Just like when all the leaves fall off in the winter, the tree isn't dead. So that's you going through your hibernation right now. <laughs> Love it. Love you. Love yourself. And I want you to do this now. Pause, come to standing. And we're just going to take note of our environment. And I want you to do this anytime you need to. Take your five senses and activate them. Breathe, take a big breath and smell. Hopefully it smells nice. You take a deep breath and you just really connect with your sense of smell. Then you're gonna look at something. You could be looking at the video. You could be looking at anything and just identify what it is. There is a big giant puppy dog in front of me looking at something, really grounding through your senses. Now we taste something. Just taste what your own mouth tastes like right now. Just rub your tongue around your teeth or around in your mouth and hopefully you have a nice flavor. I'm doing a little bit of a seaweed spine right now. So if it feels nice, you can rock and sway. And another variation right now is just to come into your standing meditation. Last two senses, what are they? The next one is hearing. Do you hear me? What are you listening to? Hopefully my voice is kind and soothing. I am somebody that wishes to teach you some grounding gentle yoga, especially during Mercury retrograde. And then our last sense, our sense of touch. How lovely. So I want you to give yourself just a momentary hand massage. Take your left hand and press into your right hand, and in particular, right under your thumb, into that big mound known as the thenar eminence. And give yourself about a minute 
of acupressure massage into lung 10, which is an acupressure point that helps us breathe, that helps open up our bronchial tubes, and it helps to relieve congestion. And so when you think about your sense of touch, make sure you give yourself some touch every day, and if possible, touch other things every day. Enjoy your five senses, and this is gonna be something that can really help you ground. Now if it's available, switch your hands. So take your right thumb and press into your left thumb mound, the Venus mound. Hey, if you feel like sitting down, go for it. If you feel like ending the class now, great. So you can come down and we can arrive in Vajrasana, which is our kneeling pose, hero's pose, lightning bolt. And this is really good if you're doing any hiking later today or any big movements with your legs. And notice you don't collapse here. You stay engaged. Good. Now we're going to finish off with the touch part. And wherever you are, make your way to the ground into your most comfortable seated position. We're going to gently take our hands together and rub, 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 create some warmth and energy and friction. And we're going to find our energy ball, our chi ball. So sit up with a nice tall spine. Your beautiful tree trunk is tall today. And then gently you're just going to open and close your hands away from each other. Open, away closer together. You don't quite let your hands touch, you let your fingers stay rounded. And we're gently going to just bring this beautiful energy in between our hands and use our imagination that this energy between our hands is the same energy inside our body, in particular in the middle of our body. That's radiating out this peace and harmony to all of the parts all around us. Good, then pause. If it's available, close your eyes and just use your imagination to sense and feel harmony, peacefulness, love in between your hands. And when you experience anything that's negative or any shadow, you gently just remind yourself that the sun shines on you and you still have a shadow. We all have a shadow. And the shadow could be part of the essence of what we don't like about ourselves or others but we're trying really hard to release judgment. We're releasing impatience. We're releasing the negative emotions, sadness. And we're coming back to who we are right now. We're releasing confusion. We're releasing dishonesty from the throat chakra. So this is our real reminder of who we are right now, despite what feels like all of the planets are against us. <laughs> Anyways, I don't mean like that, but just when we feel like we've got some challenges, we want to ground and root back to who we really are. Now we want you to take that energy ball and we're going to do the same thing we did at the beginning and gently place your hands over your heart center. In the yoga world, this is called Anahata Chakra. It's known as your heart spinning wheel of light. It's where we create love, and it's also where we store sadness. It's where we have compassion rather than any blame. And when there's two sides that are so-called in opposition, we try really hard to be neutral and to have empathy for the other side, but realize that we're all one. We all want the same things. Take a couple breaths, be in your heart, Know that you are greatly loved, loving, and lovable. I want you to reaffirm now to your DNA how smart your DNA is. And I want you to just gently sense and feel that in your heart center you are grounded and loved and you can do anything from this peaceful place. So take some deep breaths. Let go of what no longer works. Try to drink more water. Stay well hydrated. Nobody likes to look at a dead house plant. <laughs> That's one of the lines from one of my favorite oracle decks from Uti's cards. And also notice how you vibrate. 
So imagine yourself as a giant electromagnet. That's what your heart is. And your magnetism is drawing to you what you are putting out. So as best you can, put out rainbows and love and sunshine and unicorn candles. What would that smell like? <laughs> I love you so much. If you haven't already, please think about subscribing to Yoga with Nicole Spirit and I'll see you next time. We'll finish off with our little amazing dedication. You can leave your hands where they are. We dedicate the merits of our practice to all sentient beings. May all beings be relieved of their suffering and may we dwell together with great fruitfulness and harmony. The light in me greatly honors and sees the light in you. Namaste. If you feel like it, let me know what tree you are. Take good care.